Hey guys, you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopist. In today's tutorial, let's talk about uh, block matching and 3D filtering for denoising, also referred to as BM3D. And uh, if you are from traditional microscopy, you probably haven't heard about this uh, uh, this term BM3D before. But uh, if you're from MRI type of imaging, then you may have used this in the past. Now. Uh, this is an area where a lot of people are working actively. In fact, uh, there are many ways of implementing BM3D. I understand that uh, they're also using convolutional neural networks as part of BM3D. So it's, uh, it's a relatively hot field. Now, I'm going to explain uh, again at a very high level how to implement this in Python with literally two lines of code because someone else already did the uh, hard job of coding thousands of lines for us. So we are going to just import the library and then just quickly use it. I'm also going to give you the reference paper uh, which recently got published in 2019 on this topic and the implementation literally was based on this paper. So before jumping in, uh, again, uh, in plain English, uh, well, a lot of English here, uh, pause the video to read this if you want. But first, let me actually get an image on the right hand side. OK, so let's consider this uh, image. And just like non-local means, in this case, for block matching, it's looking at a reference region. For example, this block here is in red, is the reference. And it's going to find all the other blocks that are very similar to this red. When I say very similar, not just the mean gray, but also how the noise is distributed within that block, okay? So block matching is a collaborative filtering process, okay? It groups, uh, or I should say group of similar blocks are extracted from the image, just like I showed you here, okay? And a block is grouped if it's dissimilarity with a reference fragment, like meaning, uh, I mean, that's a tough way of saying it, but uh, a block is matched. In other words, if these, this, uh, the, the block in the blue, for example, compares with the block in the red, which is our reference frame and falls be below a certain specified threshold. Okay, that's when a block is matched. And all bla blocks in a group, okay, all these uh, blocks that I'm showing you here, are then stacked to form a 3D cylinder-like shape, okay? Once it's there, then filtering is done on every block group, okay? Similar block groups are actually extracted from other regions. And linear transform is applied, followed by Wiener filtering, and the transform is inverted to reproduce all filter blocks, okay? Eventually, uh, the image is transformed back into a 2D form, so we can basically look at the cleaned uh, image. Now, if that doesn't make much sense, then uh, I'm not sure if I show you the reference paper, if that makes any more sense, but I'm gonna do that anyway in a, in a minute, okay? But from an implementation point of view, if you're a biologist and you don't care about all these details, but you like uh, to use this BM3D, then it's very easy. First of all, um, assuming you don't have this already installed, so just go ahead and pip install BM3D. Okay, that should that should automatically install the latest version. If not, just go to this page, pypy.org, and look at the project BM3D, okay? And you can get the documentation over there. Once it's installed, then uh, you just need to do import BM3D, and then uh, from BM3D, import uh, the function BM3D, and then uh, apply it on your noisy image. And you can define your sigma, uh, you know, the uh, standard deviation there, and you can also define the stage arg, and uh, the stage arg is uh, basically defining whether you want to do a hard thresholding or you can also define all stages, which is uh, a bit slow but powerful. And by the way, all stages, when you select it, performs both hard thresholding and also Wiener filtering. And uh, again, if it doesn't make sense, uh, still okay. You can go ahead and use it, but let me open up a page, the PyPy page that I just talked about and uh, go ahead and pip install BM3D here. And as of today, uh, February 2020, uh, in fact, uh, the latest version was Jan 30, 2020. So this is very actively maintained, as you can see. And it's based on the publication by uh, you know, this group, Makinen. I apologize if I said that the right uh, the wrong way. Uh, so this paper was published in 2019. So this is quite recent, I should say. Okay, and no wonder it works great. In fact, I did look up that paper and uh, here it is, okay? 
and uh, you can look at look and go through this and uh, again they pretty much use obviously mathematics to explain that okay here is the reference block and there are other blocks that are trying to match or extracted based on the match you know over here and uh, how these uh, uh, b values are calculated and all that so if you are curious about this entire application you know uh, or how this is actually developed you can just go ahead and read this paper okay now let's uh, get to our spider IDE so we can go ahead and code a couple of lines uh, to implement this block matching and 3D filtering. Okay, so first let's go ahead and import SK image. Uh, sorry, instead of doing that, let's actually import specific uh, functions. So from SK image, let's go ahead and import IO because that's what we'd be using to read our images and also let's convert images as float image as float okay and uh, let's also import bm3d i've already pip installed if not go ahead and pip install bm3d okay so all you got to do is pip install bm3d uh, and uh, what else uh, i think this should do, uh, let's actually import open cv so we can have a look at our images so let's uh, import our noisy image and uh, just image as I can type it correctly image as float io dot read and what are we reading we are reading our image which is located under images and let's keep using the same image that we have used in the past few tutorials uh, 25 Sigma added noise to my original image so this is a JPEG image and uh, let's actually, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, you can work with color images, but I know this is a gray image anyhow. So let me just import this as gray. Okay. Oh, I forgot to close this. There you go. So now we imported our image and this is it. We are all set. Now let's just do our denoising BM3, oh, 3D denoised. Okay. Is what? BM3D dot B m3d okay and what did we call our image noisy underscore image the second parameter is sigma underscore psd by the way one thing i should mention is this is so new it's not very well documented like how what parameters and all that so what i did is i downloaded the source code and i went through the source code and i realized that okay there are a couple of things like sigma psd which is our noise standard deviation and uh, let's just start with a value of 0 0.2 okay it's a floating point number between 0 and 1 uh, between 0 and 1 because we are working with floating point uh, numbers uh, for our image and the other one is stage arg okay and this is uh, again there seems to be two options here bm3d dot okay uh, b oh here you can actually see a whole bunch of these and this should be bm3d stages I don't know if I can find it here but uh, let me go ahead and type it okay b m 3 d stages okay so there you go stages and within stages we need to pick whether it is hard thresholding or all stages okay these are the two options so hard thresholding apparently is a bit uh, slightly faster because all stages actually does hard thresholding plus it also does wiener filtering so uh, I quickly ran this uh, once and I realized the output pretty much looked very similar, but let's go ahead and use all stages for now. Okay, so that's it. So our image would be denoised after that. And now let's go ahead and have a look at it. So cv2.imshow, let's look at our original. Our original is called noisy image. And let's also look at our denoised image, imshow denoised and we called it let me just go ahead and copy and paste this this is our denoised image and of course cv2 dot weight key and cv2 dot destroy all windows okay let's go ahead and run this this would be a bit slow so i'll probably pause the video and then continue it but let me go ahead and run it
okay so here it is it took about uh, 40 seconds or so so i paused the video but you can see how the denoising is very very nice actually i mean maybe a bit over denoise so you can actually control the sigma value and see how that affects this but uh, Apparently, this BM3D works amazing on MRI images. I tested this on CT images. It works great. So, and it is brand new. It's from 2019. So, please go ahead and try this and see how it works for you. Again, uh, use any of these before you resort to uh, machine learning based denoising because machine learning based denoising requires tremendous amount of data, tremendous amount of training uh, and all that stuff, which is okay. It still works, but this one actually works faster. This one works more efficiently and uh, it has been tested uh, many times on many images. So the traditional ones always, always are preferable in my opinion. So thank you very much for your attention and let's talk about a different topic uh, in our next tutorial. Until then, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let's meet again in the next tutorial.